Hello everyone, my name is Eeple's Box and welcome to Gun Monkeys. Yes indeed. Gun Monkeys is a 2D procedurally generated physics based platform shooter that takes place in 1v1 deathmatch style. It is brought to us by Size 5 Games and it is fun. The game is described as an experiment in short, sharp jabs at intense multiplayer combat. The matches themselves can go anywhere from like two minutes to half an hour depending on how, you know, how the tug of war or how the pull or how the balance between the two players is. If one player gets in a few good kills and collects the cubes pretty quick, the match can end really quick. If both players are constantly going back and forth, the match could go on for quite some time. Like I said, the game is 1v1 deathmatch style, so when you hop into a lobby, you will see other players playing the game and you just kind of issue them challenges and challenges go back and forth and then you accept whatever challenge you wish to face and you can play that opponent and fight back and forth. Now, you have basic controls for playing the game. You have your movement and you have jump. Then you can shoot and you can drop a bomb. Pretty simple. Pretty easy to do. It works m It works really, really well on a gamepad. I'm not going to say much better, but I'm thoroughly enjoying playing on a gamepad, and a couple people that I have played with also play on a gamepad, so the gamepad works out pretty well. Now, you, like I said, you do have, you're, you're a monkey, you have a gun, and that's what the shooting's for. You have, you have a couple bombs, that you're, I think it's just one bomb per life that you can use. You drop it on the ground, and it explodes in an upside-down T fashion, so it explodes as far out as it can horizontally and vertically. And so anybody caught in that, you know, smoke cloud basically is going to get killed, including yourself. It is extremely easy to kill yourself with the bomb. However, it's extremely easy to kill enemies with the bomb too. Now there are question mark labeled crates that will randomly appear on the map, and those are your power up or bonuses or, you know, things like that. Either player can pick them up and they give you things like better weapons temporarily you can get a big nuke launcher that launches a big nuke and just explodes everything in that section of the map you get a zapper which is an electric gun you can get like little sniper rifles or heavy machine guns and again they're temporary uses or you can get weird power-ups like um, slow-mo to slow down your enemy or cryo to put them to sleep or not really put them to sleep but just freeze them for a short amount of time if you win enough matches you get currency which you can use to buy perks essentially which basically add on to those bonuses you pick up from the crate. So the one that I have enabled at the moment is Cryo, which extends the duration of Cryo by like an extra 30 seconds or something. In order to play, like to play, the objective of the game is to collect the little cubes on the ground and bring them back to your core and power up your core while depleting the enemy's core. If you pick up three or more cubes, or you can only pick up three cubes, so if you pick up up to three cubes at a time, bring all three to the core and you will get more points than just bringing one or two. Every time you power up your core, you deplete the opponent's core. You win when you deplete your opponent's core down to zero. You lose when yours gets down to zero. Killing your opponent also depletes your core, so or depletes their core. So basically you want to collect the cubes as fast as you can while making sure you don't get killed by your opponent. And if you need to drain your opponent's core, then you just keep killing them as well. Pretty simple, but yet it gets really intense, especially if you're playing with people you know or people you can talk to. For example, I played with two of my girlfriend right next to each other, and we, you know, getting that competitive edge when you can talk to each other and see each other's reactions is really, really cool. It's a lot of fun. I highly recommend you check it out. It's available for like $8 on Steam. Well worth the money for the matches and the experiences you get in on it, I highly, again, I highly suggest you check it out. Links will be in the description below, and a blog post, you know, formal written review will be available as soon as we get our hosting situation sorted out. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. This